Question 1. Define the principal focus of a concave mirror. The principal focus of a concave mirror is the point on its principal axis where all light rays parallel to the principal axis and incident on the mirror converge after reflection. It lies between the pole and the center of curvature of the mirror. Question 2. The radius of curvature of a spherical mirror is 20 cm. What is its focal length? The focal length, F, of a spherical mirror is half of its radius of curvature, R. So, F is equal to R by 2. F is equal to 20 cm by 2, which is equal to 10 cm. Therefore, the focal length is 10 cm. Question 3. Name a mirror that can give an erect and enlarged image of an object. A concave mirror can give an erect and enlarged image when the object is placed between the pole and the focus of the mirror. Question 4. Why do we prefer a convex mirror as a rearview mirror in vehicles? A convex mirror is preferred as a rearview mirror in vehicles because it gives a wider field of view, allowing the driver to see more area behind the vehicle. It also always forms erect and diminished images which help in judging the traffic safely without distortion. Question and answer 9.2 Question 1. Find the focal length of a convex mirror whose radius of curvature is 32 cm. Focal length F equal to radius of curvature R by 2. Given radius of curvature R equal to 32 cm. Focal length F equal to 32 by 2 is equal to 16 cm. Thus, the focal length of the convex mirror is 16 cm. Question 2. A concave mirror produced three times magnified, enlarged, real image of an object placed at 10 cm in front of it. Where is the image located? Given magnification m equal to minus 3m. Minus 3. Negative because image is real and inverted. Object distance u equal to minus 10 cm. Object is in front of the mirror. From magnification formula for mirrors. M equal to minus V by U. Minus 3 equal to minus V by minus 10. Equal to minus 30 cm. So image is located at 30 cm in front of the mirror. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to support more content like this.